Hey, hello, it's just John here for a quick A50 tutorial. So I'm just working on the sewer and I thought I'd do a quick tutorial breakdown for this part and this part where I'm going to add a bit more life to my scene by giving the lights a bit of a flicker and maybe adding like a bit of um, volume, like a volumetric fog, sorry, that's going to interact with our lights a bit. So let's start by working on our lights. So to do so, if we click on our, our lights, we're going to give them a function. Now at the moment, oh, I do have a bunch of functions, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to go do so by, I'm going to, um, what should we call this? Flicker lights, underscore mat. And let's hit enter and open that up. Okay, so inside here, we need to turn this to a light function because we're working with a light function on this one and notice that this locks everything down so we've just got the emissive so at this point as well we're going to want to so just like play with our effect so let's try getting ourselves a time and we're gonna have a time and i'm going to put a period on the time at two let's just say two i'm going to add a clamp to this And then I'm going to put you into you, but my clamp, because I don't really ever want to see it go to zero. I'm going to set you at five, you at two. And then let's give that a preview, see how that looks. And it's just, it's just going to make it look like our lights got a bit more of a flicker. And if we wanted a higher flicker, we could always increase you and increase you and maybe drop you to 0.4 and this will give us a bit more of a jump on it now that's sort of like a quick sort of like simple way of doing that we we could use like a, a linear interpolation and sort of go between two points but you know I'm just I'm just gonna stick with that for now and I might might come back in so that we can change this later. But for now that'll do. Let's give it a test. So we've got a light flicker and we're gonna put this in our light profiles. And you see how it's got a bit of a flick on it. I don't I feel like that goes down too far anyway. So I'm gonna actually say it's 0.6. Let's see. And I'm gonna actually set you to 1.5. Oops. 1.5. Maybe drop a quick multiply in there as well. Multiply by 2. And we'll, we'll sort of see, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, might, might come back and tweak that at some point. Right, let's get our light in here. I'm not going to apply it to all my lights, at least not for now, because otherwise I can just do that in the blueprint. But it gives us a bit of something going on there. Bit of range. All right, now let's, let's add the fog, shall we? So if we type in fog, not fig, because that's not a real word. Well, it is, it's some kind of fruit. And we've got two types of fog. I'm just going to work with the height fog. And it's given us this really sort of mistiness to our scene. Which looks all right. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna really bring up the density on this bit. And for my scene, I really want it to be quite murky. So I'm going to bring a bit more sort of purple out on it. Or blue even. And we've got a couple of options in here, but the first one I want to tweak is the volumetric fog. And 
what this should do is this should affect it should sort of like you see if we look at the lights let me put in simulate so we'll get better effect this is so I'm going to show the thickness in our lights so I'm going to bump you really high and bring you up really high and let's maybe drop our view distance I'm going to drop that real low so it looks like oops it looks like we've still got the fog in the background over here I'm really going to bring up that fog. Maybe I'm wrong about the purple. So, like, definitely want it to look a bit misty. Maybe not that green, though. It's kind of interesting as like an orange, isn't it? I'm just sort of playing the scene until I find something I'm happy with. You know, that looks, it was alright there. And again, we've sort of got a couple more options and we're just going to play around with this until until we're happy with it yeah there we go now, hopefully, with like a little bit of light flicker over here, and a fog, we've got a bit more of a, an eerie scene going on. And yeah, I feel like that's, that's funky out here, isn't it? That's looking pretty cool over there now. Definitely happy with the fog. I feel like the light could be a bit better. So let's go back into our light profile real quick and just do something a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete you, take you over here. Add a clamp and put a multiply over here, like so. Mm. Let's try going up to two, and we'll just throw the generic maths on there. Sign. Let's give it a little bit more of a random. Let's turn the period off. And if we're turning the period off, we don't need the clamp. And let's put a quick frack on the end. That's way too much, isn't it? Let's go. Much slower than that. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. Go a bit slower. That'll that'll do from that one. And I'm not. I'm going to take it off this light. Cause you know what. I'm just going to use it as a sort of breaking light.
Maybe I'll put it on this one. In fact, what I'm going to do, just so it seems like we've got a bit more of a random, I'm just going to duplicate this one. And it's changed some of the maths up in here a bit. And it should give it a bit more of a seemingly random effect. So now because we've got the flicker one on this one, we're going to put the flicker one on there. Yeah, you know what that'll do. I, sh I should have left. Yeah, I'm going to delete this, put this one back to how it was before. To clamp. Like I said, I don't really want it to hit zero. So that's when we get that effect. So it gives us a bit more range now. And nice. There we go. Let's we've added our fog, we've added our light profiles, and now it gives us a much more eerie scene.